Hello, once again, this is Alex Zero, and uh, I decided to make a tutorial on how to make a Flash game trainer. Now, you may have seen these on the internet. You download them, and then you can play the Flash game from inside them. And you got these little buttons that they oh, what they do is they just essentially change values inside the Flash game. So when you create a trainer, you essentially hack the game. And to create one. Uh, I've heard that you can create a training with Delphi, but I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to use Vi uh, Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0, right there, that one. But uh, I can't provide you with the download for that, as I said before, because that would be illegal. So, once you've found a download for that, or bought it, or whatever it is you want to do, load it up. It's loading. Bring up a flash game. I'm going to use Champion from Anacon.com. And you don't you just if it has a loading bar, make sure the loading bar is complete. And then view the source. In Firefox, you hit Control U. In Internet Explorer, you hit Page and View Source or something like that. All right. And then we use Control F and find SWF. And first, you should get something just like download.macromedia.com and stuff. Don't just ignore that. Hit it again, and you should find champion2.svf. What you want to do is you want to copy that, close the source, go back up here into the address bar, paste champion2.svf in there, hit enter. And then, see, this is the actual SWF game. And you want to hit you want to go to file and save page as and, and save it on your hard drive so that you can uh, decompile it with the flash decompiler I already have it on my hard drive so I'm not going to save it and now that you've got that you open up a uh, decompiler like so think SWF decompiler and while that's loading <laughs> let's go over here in visual basic you get the standard exe open that make that really big and go to project and components Meh. why is it not working hello oh there we go okay now I'll go to not just hit s on this menu if it'll work. So here we go. And it'll go down to Shockwave Flash. Check that box and click Apply. And then click Close. You should get, well, I get a black box, but you might get like a piece of paper or whatever. And then click and drag so it fills up almost the entire screen. Like that, okay. Now go up to the top under Name. This is the Properties. And it should say Shockwave Flash 1. I'd change, you change mine. You change your change yours to whatever it is you want, um, but uh, I'll change mine to SHK Champion. Okay, and then you want to go down to Movie, right there, and you want to take this address here, copy it, and paste it in here, and hit Enter. And then in a second or two. Go see now if you run this, you will uh, be able to play the Flash game Champion 2 on your computer, but on the run through program, you can, but that doesn't help seeing as you can't really. It's like, woohoo! All right, now what? All right, I'll create a command button, which is right there, right there, command button, yes, and name it. CMD health and change the caption to health hack. Okay. 
you can go over to Sothink or whatever you can find what you're using and uh, scroll down and try to find champion2.stbf so it'll apply in here in a little window click over here you click plus go down to action and click on main movie now this is where a whole bunch this is the code for the game but and so we're gonna try to find the uh, health variable so you genuinely do control F and type in health and search through that but it's not actually not in the first one it's in the second one right there warriors dot champ dot health actually start here uh, under dash root that's important because whatever you do you always have to put that one first unless it's well yeah pretty much all right so you're gonna want to copy that I'll need that in a second and bring this back up double click on the health hack button and type in call uh, whatever you named your little shockwave flash thing I'm in, I'm in mine SHK champion I'll put a period and you should get uh, a little drop down menu with a whole bunch of stuff if you didn't then you typed it wrong and once you click that menu type in set variable Open parentheses, open quotation, and then paste. What you put, what you got in there. Close, close uh, parenthesis, uh, quotation mark, put a comma, and now this here is the value. It's whatever you want that variable that you just put in there to be. I'm just going to change mine to like 9999. And then end the parentheses, and now run it. Let's see what happens. Yep, see? My health was there, and now it's gone. Now they can attack me all day long. No, die, die. See? Ha, attack me. You can't kill me. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, enough of that. And that's the basics of making a flash trader. Now, of course, you can do money and whatever, but that's just the basics. Alright? Until next time, select zero.